Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Prashar. Welcome back to the channel. In our last session, we created our first Mule project and we created a REST API using HTTP Listener Processor, which takes a query parameter and a URI parameter and send the response back to the user. In today's session, we will learn how you can call a REST service using HTTP Request Processor. For demo, you can call the REST API that you have created in the last session, but to keep it interesting, let's call any of the publicly available rest api let's start so i found this one api restcountries.com uh, which is publicly available and i see that there is an endpoint called currency so let's test this this particular url so we'll just need to replace this currency with any of the currency let's try canadian dollars and as we can see we have certain details about canada and its currency and let me try some different currency so for us united states uh, we have more details so this works we'll just use this uh, url and we'll call it in one of our mule projects so let's open our AnyPoint Studio. In AnyPoint Studio, let me create a second project. And we can call it Hall REST API project. And the project name is also Call REST API. You click finish so our configuration file name is also called rest api so we'll create http listener like we did in the last session so we'll not spend a lot of time here let's call it currency version one and we'll create a configuration here we can keep it default because this is the service which we are creating which will call that publicly available api currency api so we can click on ok so this is a get operation so in the advance we'll simply put allowed method get here And now, without any further ado, we can simply use this uh, request processor of HTTP module and we can configure the currency API in this one. So, first, we'll have to create uh, a configuration here just like this. We can keep base path as default, protocol was HTTPS, and we can confirm that by going to the advanced REST client. So, HTTPS and this is going to be the host since it's https then port will be 443 and we'll click on ok and path this looks good what we can do is so this currency is something that we'll have to uh, provide so as of now in the uri parameter here as you can see let me increase the size of this so we have configured our http request configuration we have given what the protocol will be the host uh, the pro port and the path and the uri parameter so under the URI parameters here, as you can see, we can click on plus and we'll give this currency here. So for now, let's hard code it to CAD. We'll provide a dynamic value later on, but let's just test if it returns the hard coded value or not. So let's save it. 
and I'm going to run this project now. All right, as you can see, it is deployed. So now we will call our listener point. So the path is this and host is localhost 8081 as we learned in our last session. So let's do it quickly. All right, so this will be our calling URL, let's call it. And as you can see, it later on called the uh, REST API and returned the Canada uh, output because we hard coded Canada. Now let's see we want to dynamically process this currency. So let me add a query parameter as part of this URL. So now what I did is I added a currency query parameter. As of now, I'm putting it cat just to test it. So if you can see nothing changed. Now let's say I want to check uh, the Indian rupees currency here and I'll click here, but it'll still show the Canada one because it is hard coded. Now we need to ensure we can somehow pass this query parameter to the URI parameter of the calling REST API, if that makes any sense. Let me show you guys how to do it. So now we are assuming that this uh, currency V1, our listener API will have a query parameter. And now the query parameter needs to be passed as part of the URI parameter of this API here. So let's do that. So it will be attributes. You can check from the data sense here, like how the spelling will be. So this is query params attributes dot query params. dot currency you can also click on this function here and it will open the data view operation and then you will get your option where you can do the control space and it will give you all the details here just like this and then you can remove it and you will see that you have all the information that is needed so now let me save it So we'll call this service, we'll give the currency as a query parameter, then we will request this currency API, and we will be passing the query parameter of calling API with this request API URI parameter. Let's test it. All right, as you can see, now it has dynamically put currency INR to the calling uh, REST API. And you can see here, so in Bhutan also, uh, Indian rupees are accepted. And as you can see in India, the Indian rupees are accepted. And let's change it and see if we can get, for Canada, yes, we can, let's just, Test for United States dollar as well and yes we can and just want to add one more thing here let's say we are calling a REST API where we have URI parameter as well as query parameter so query parameter and URI parameter putting them dynamically in the request processor the way is exactly the same. You come to query parameters, you'll click on this plus, give whatever the query parameter there is and put the value like we did in URI parameters. So I think it will be a good uh, exercise for you guys that you can first create a service that accepts a request parameter and it request and it accepts one query parameter. So one URI parameter, one query parameter, and then create another REST API which calls that API and then pass the query parameters and URI parameters here dynamically and see if you are able to create that particular project. So this is it for this particular session. See you in the next session. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good one.